Well, hello all. I tried to do a video outside, but the weather's just too nice these days here in California. It's like summer almost every day. So because we're in solid lockdown, everyone's outside walking around with their babies, baby strollers, dogs, children, and there's just nowhere to do a video anymore. So because of the lockdown, it looks like uh, we'll have to do them inside if we can. There's construction just outside here, so that's going to be limited as well. So I'll try and do as much as I can. It's supposed to get rain tonight. So really bad news again. Trump has now finalized a rule that will severely weaken the Endangered Species Act. This is really bad. Another thing that people on the left are going to have to push Biden to deal with, to put the Endangered Species Act back the way it was. This severely limits government to protect, to protect any habitat within the borders of the U.S. The definition of critical habitat will be so severely limited it won't even really exist. Who is responsible for really pushing to get rid of the Endangered Species Act? Well, of course, the logging companies, the developers, and the landowners. They can't stand wildlife, especially on their land, right? So Trump is the most anti-wildlife president ever in the U.S.'s history. So what will this affect right away? Well, right away, we've talked about this, these species will become endangered again without any protections. The grizzly bear, the whooping crane, and the salmon to start with. The act itself has prevented 99% of the species under the act from going extinct, so the act works. This will also infect sea turtles, and the right whales. All these will no longer be protected. Trump is quickly deregulating everything he does not like that will infect anything that he builds or puts up, like apartments or, or uh, uh, luxury hotels and golf courses. He can't stand the fact that he can't just bulldoze his way through wherever he wants to and put a golf course or a luxury hotel. He thinks that's his right. But what about the rights of the animals that live there before him? Just the pure ignorance of this is enough to just make your head explode, you know what I mean? It's awful to think that people don't have any regard for anything that's on the land that they don't want there. It's their land. They paid lots of money for it. So whatever was there before, it's, it, it's just too bad uh, for them. Now, another species that we're all familiar with, the monarch butterfly, their protection wiped out. Most of the habitat of the monarch is already gone, and that's why the monarch butterfly is in quick decline. They just say, finish it off and forget about it. Boy, the arrogance, the, the, the not caring, and, you know, and really, how many people really care? Wouldn't they rather have a luxury swimming pool than, in, than a bunch of butterflies floating around? I mean, it's all about the human now on. We, the human only cares about itself. And the humans are starting to get ready to move into space, where, again, we're not talking about any environmental controls. They're already talking about setting up mining camps on the moon. The problem with that is that the moon, after a while, won't look like the moon anymore. It'll just look like a gray, dull ball up there. Uh, maybe the backside could be wiped out. Nobody would care. I don't know. Do you guys care about space? Do you care about the Endangered Species Act here in the U.S. being gutted so badly? it doesn't work. Are you willing to do something to try and get the Endangered Species Act back before it is too late? By the way, this will allow hunting of grizzly bears in their dens with their cubs, and you can kill the cubs with anything you want, according to the new rules, including when they're in hibernation. We really are getting to be a really sick bunch of people. Let's hope that, that somehow we can keep the Endangered Species Act alive. I definitely appreciate the ups and downs new subscribers, and until next time.